Hey guys, what's going on? This is Tom with The Strength Agenda, and we are bringing back Tom and Terry. Um, this uh, is going to be a little bit of a collection of clips from the last half of Training Cycle 19. So this is going to be weeks 5 through 7, maybe 8. 8 is a complete deload, so we might not be doing too, I might not have too many clips from there, but uh, just a little bit of a introductory to the crew and everybody that's uh, on the team. And just kind of uh, going over why and how we do things and uh, what people's strengths and weaknesses are and what they need to work on as we are working towards our first meet at CrossFit Illumin on February 11th. Uh, these clips are from day five of our first week. That was Derek uh, hitting a 114 snatch. Um, Derek, when he came to me, um, was barely able to clean and jerk 120. Uh, he's a football player from Wheaton College. He played linebacker. He um, was originally from... Uh, um, Seattle, Washington area, worked with John Thrush, um, but had only done power clean. So when I when he started working with me over at Big Shoulders last November, didn't really uh, know much about snatching. He could clean, and obviously, as you can see there, he could stick a jerk, um, but the snatch was his nemesis, and uh, we've put a lot of work and effort into his timing and his leg strength recently, and it has started to pay off huge. This was week five, like I said, and he started hitting some big lifts here. Um, his first Saturday, he went 114, 145, which were PR lifts for him. Um, and, you know, he was able to improve. I think I have each week in here for him there. Um, this is the beginning of a week for us. It, we did power snatches, two heavy singles, and then we did a clean and jerk complex. Um, the first half of the training phase, I believe we did a three position clean and then a jerk. Uh, this training phase, it was just high hang, low hang. And this is Dan. Um, Dan is a little bit of a newer addition to the crew. Um, he came to us from East Tennessee State University. He was there in their Olympic development program and um, was there for a semester. Uh, we're getting his master's and uh, wanted to, you know, try training full time, well, as close to full time as he could while being in school. Um, just decided that it wasn't for him and ended up coming back. And he lives in the area, so he started training with us here at the Strength Agenda. And then this is uh, Brian Gurley. Uh, he is an engineer. He's from Southern Illinois, was living in like the Bloomington, Peoria area. Him and Dan actually used to train together um, at a CrossFit by themselves. Uh, they came up in July for the Clang and Bang. We had a big shoulders. Uh, kind of just started talking to them, created a little bit of a friendship there. Uh, Brian actually, with a couple of his friends, came to our Tarakti seminar. Um, and that was actually where I first met him. And then Dan came with him to the Clang and Bang later that year in July. So um, they started training with us uh, on an infrequent basis, and then uh, Brian got a job up in Addison Trail, which isn't too far from us. So he, uh, he joined us in around November, and Dan followed shortly after in December. Uh, this is Luke. He is one of our fitness template guys. I have four fitness uh, athletes that I work with. Um, I just started taking over their full programming back in uh, July or so. And Luke is one of the guys that has been with me for quite some time. Um, so he was visiting some family, wanted to come in and get his squats before he did uh, his on-the-minute work. So we were happy to oblige. And he uh, hit a pretty fast 170 there, which is really nice to see. Uh, here's Brian just hitting some, uh, this is probably day three or four. You can see Dale, Haster, and UR set up in the back there. They came and did some uh, sampling for the guys, uh, showing them some of the different products they offer. And uh, day three, I believe, of this training cycle is, or is, was um, power cleans and uh, or high hang, low hang snatch complex and a power clean. And this guy right here, this is uh, Cordell Shaper. Shaper. He is uh, Ingrid Markham, one of our coach's boyfriends. He just wanted to kind of, you know, just lift. <laughs> Came to me, said, you know, I don't really, I don't want to do a lot of the Olympic lifts. Just want to, you know dabble in everything so he is part of our general fitness template that we run in the gym and that was his first time uh actually using uh, body contact on his cleans he was one of those guys that was strong enough to pull the bar straight from the floor into um you know the, the catch position and we were, we spent about 15 20 minutes working on some specific drilling and by the end of it he was able to power clean 90 using body contact which was uh was a pretty big thing for him uh here you see alvin hoy a bunch of these guys Hitting some pretty big lifts. Alvin uh, came to us in December, November, I believe. Uh, maybe even a little before that, maybe in October. But uh, he was recovering from hernia surgery. He was well removed from the surgery, but just wanted to get back into it. 
And his old coach, Jack Russman, recommended he come check us out. And he's been with us since, and he has been making great progress. He's actually just started um, making lifts recently without the aid of his belt. Like, he relied on his belt for everything he did. So it's really cool to see his uh, strength and his you know technique and everything progress and go through um, as, as, the, as the days uh, and the training cycles uh, come at him. Uh, and then you saw Ashley. She is one of our newer lifters. Uh, she's um, she's another lifter that I kind of met through hosting meets at Big Shoulders and through the Strength Agenda. Um, she came to both the meets that we hosted, and then I also saw her at a meet that I took Chelsea and Derek to later in the summer down in uh, Peoria. And you know, we I got along with Ashley really well. She lives in Plainfield, which uh, is an area I used to live in. Uh, my wife and I used to live in Plainfield, and uh, there were no CrossFits around at the time, but she's out in the, almost in the exact same area where I live um, training out there. So she just asked one day, you know, how do I get on the team kind of a deal? And the rest is history. I'm really glad to have her on the team. She is a very fast lifter. Um, once we get her squat up, uh, her lifts are going to go through the roof, but she's not afraid of any lift. Um, no matter what the weight is on the bar, she is going to try and uh, go under it and – it's not always going to be pretty, but she's very, you know, fearless, very aggressive on her pulls, which is awesome to see. And then there was Derek. He didn't have a great snatch day. This was probably week six, I believe. Didn't have a great snatch day, but um, on, after everybody worked up to a heavy single, they had down sets at 80%. And Derek was only a few kilos away, I think like two or three kilos away from a PR double. So he said, hey, can I try 101 for a PR double? And as you saw, he hit it. And then here he is sticking a 146 clean and jerk. Um, the, the, the crazy thing about this, the, the, the him hitting these PRs, was he's in the middle of our scroll off squat program. So he was like knee deep in that program, doing a lot of squatting. This was on the last day of squatting when he was hitting those lifts. So for him to go through, it was seven sets of three, you know, at, at, at increasing percentages each, each week. So for him to go through seven triples and then come close to PRing a snatch or PRing a snatch and PRing his clean and jerk was amazing to see. So um, here you see some of these other guys. Uh, we have Josh and Cody. These two guys came to me through um, the Big Shoulders Academy program, actually. Uh, Cody here um, had a very hard time being able to perform a power air squat, and we have drilled his bottom positions relentlessly, and it is really starting to pay off for him. He's hitting a pretty good depth. He's getting pretty good range of motion on all his lifts when it comes to a squat. So he's making a lot of progress. And then you have Josh, who can hit a squat position, but uh, he might not be able to hold on to the bar in the in the front rack of a clean. He's very big arm, very muscular individual. Um, they're both you know football players, so bench and curls were the you know main part of their lifts. And you know it, it was just one of those things that they were you know they struggled in certain mobility aspects of lifting. So. We've been working on different things with them, and it is starting to pay off, and I'm really glad to see that it's working well and transferring over to bigger lifts um, throughout training. I have no idea what Dan has on his arms. He came in wearing these things and said they looked cool and they were going to help him lift, but he pressed that out, so I'm going to have to go with false. And here's Cody. Um, the one thing that Cody does do that's a little weird, you see it on that uh, lift right there, is he, like moves his head to the side like out of the way um, I don't know when he started doing that I don't know where he picked that up but we've been working really really hard on that these lifts right here are phenomenal to watch um, Josh cannot get into the bottom position of a snatch very well and then one day um, on our on the minute work it just started clicking for him and he was able to just he just one day he, he was working up at one point his power snatch was like five kilos higher than his full snatch and by the end of you know his on the minute work, he just started dropping like perfectly into the bottom of a snatch, um, and ended up actually pring his snatch. I don't know if I have um, those lifts later on in this clip, but he ended up snatching 95, I believe, which is a you know big pr for him. Um, Might have actually done a little bit more. I don't remember. I know he attempted 100, and it was uh, it was pretty close. And then um, so the way we we program here is we have eight week training cycles. And we kind of build up for three weeks with a light week on um, week four and week eight. Eight is a complete deload. Four is a little bit of a lighter week. But um, on usually on weeks seven and three, um, the, the, the lifts or the focuses of that training cycle, we allow you to go heavy. So there you saw Derek 
going for a heavy high hang plus low hang uh, clean and jerk. And uh, that was to take the lead over Brian and Dan, I believe. Um, at the time, I think Dan ended up coming back and getting them. So but it was really cool to see that. And then here you have Mr. Nathan LaFort. Um, if you have ever had the chance to listen to Nate on the microphone at the Saw Showdown, you know exactly who he is. He's a very funny guy, uh, very good friend of ours. He was a member of Big Shoulders, uh, was a coach at some point, and then when we left, um, he ended up coming over later and started working with us again. We're really happy to have him and his wife with us. Um, Nate has a lot of back issues. He is a former vet. Um, not sure if those issues are related or not, but just when it came to squatting, he had a lot of issues, you know, getting in the bottom, um, not keeping his, you know, his torso upright, keeping his hips pulled under. And uh, anytime he would do any sort of heavy squatting, he'd be laid up for weeks with his back, um, you know, spasming and all that. So um, we worked a lot on his squat position and it's now starting to pay off on his lifts because he's able to catch a bounce. He's not pausing in the bottom and he's actually starting to get close to his old squat PR numbers before his back really started bothering him. Um, and there you saw Miss Chelsea Armstrong. Chelsea has the athlete I have probably coached the longest out of any athlete I work with. Um, when I was a throw coach at North Central College, she was uh, an athlete on that team. Um, I coached her at North Central for two years. She's a national qualifier in the discus. And then when I left um, to go train at Muscle Driver in California Strength, I still remained in contact with her. She started doing um, 5Ks, half marathons, stuff like that. And when I moved back to the area and opened the gym, she was one of the first people that signed up for the gym. She was the first barbell club member I had. And I'm really enjoying watching her transition into weightlifting. She has always been super strong. So it's been great to see that strength transfer over to the lifts. And as her range of motion, as her mobility um, improves and gets better and her confidence in the lifts improves, she's going to start putting up some really, really big numbers. Um, and then here's Derek again, killing it. Derek really killed this training cycle. Derek and Josh, I think had the most improvement out of anybody there. Um, Derek, that was a big clean PR at 151 kilos, about 333 pounds. And then here you have Alvin. Um, you saw him power clean 90 earlier. This was what I was talking about where he started relying. He used to use his belt for anything over, you know, 50, 60 kilos. And there he was clean and jerking 95 kilos, no belt, no nothing. And the, the lifts were just flying up for him. So that was really great to see. And then here you have Hoy. Um, Hoy is another CrossFitter that came to us to just work with us. And uh, um, he just wanted to improve his lifts. And we ended up converting him over to the dark side. He ended up doing his first meet. And he is now fully hooked. And his goal is try to qualify for the American Open this year. Um, you saw Derek with a big PR snatch at 120. Um, he'd been working on that for a long time. And um, he knew that he stuck that lift, paused in the bottom a little bit on purpose, and uh, showing off a little bit there. And then uh, we moved on to the clean and jerks where he hit like three consecutive PRs. Um, he hit this one at 147. I believe he then went 149. Or no, he went right to 150. And uh, But uh, a 270 total for him is huge improvement. I think his best competition total is 242. So when we get ready to head over to Illumin with everybody else, I have no doubt Derek is going to um, improve his total. Overall, this was a great training session or a great you know training block by the team. Um, first real training block of the year. Really enjoyed this one. Um, can't wait to do more of these. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for the comments and the support and the feedback. Anything you guys would like to see or have any questions, please comment below or find us on our social media. Until next time, take care, guys.